Good day my fellow Royal fans, today's news. William and Catherine are making their first trip to the US in 8 years. In the first week of December for the Earthshot Prize in Boston on December 2nd. The pair will be attending the second Earthshot Award ceremony, which is an innovative program founded by Prince William working towards pioneering ideas which tackle the climate crisis. Meanwhile, on December 6th, Meghan and Harry will be receiving the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award for their heroic work against structural racism. With both the Waleses and the Sussexes in the US at the same time, Catherine and William are hoping to improve their image of the royal family across the pond. Royal commentators have suggested that the royal family have not diminished in their popularity in the US following the Sussexes move out there. Kingsley Schofield said that American royal watchers are absolutely crazy about the Prince and Princess of Wales. However, it is evident that the two royal couples represent entirely different lifestyles and wield their popularity in entirely different ways. Amanda Foreman shared, William and Kate are trading in yesterday's currency, leaving aside sheer sartorial glamour where Kate is unmatched. The Waleses offer the world a fixed basket of virtues, duty, probity, discipline, decency, discretion, loyalty, and commitment. Despite this basket of virtues, there are, there are qualities which are valued by some, while the Sussexes portray virtues valued by others, Ms. Foreman added. It is a worthy one, to be sure, and also totally fatal, in step with the values of the over 40 crowd baby boomers, Generation X, and some millennials. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are dealers in today's currency. Self-actualization, self-healing, self-identity, self-care, self-expression, self-confident, and self-love. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are all those things. And while the Prince and Princess of Wales openly talk about issues such as mental health, violence against women and girls, and LGBTQ rights, the Sussexes embody what are seen as more modern values. Their step away from the archaic institution of the monarchy to live in their new home in Montecito, California, only highlights the divide between the couples. Harry and Meghan said that their 11 million pound mansion made them walk in and go joy and exhale and calm. It's healing. You feel free. The royal family continue to perform their constitutional roles while which while being modernized are different to the Sussex's roles as celebrities. A palace insider said that William and Catherine are working on behalf of others versus being a celebrity. They were always famous but now they've reached a different stage in their public lives. They're different types of figures entirely. Hmm, I agree 100%. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.